Hi, welcome to Solar 101. I'm your host, Andrew, and today I'll be taking you on a tour of mine and George's solar project that we've been working on for the last few months. It all starts here with these two Mitsubishi 165 watt, 6.85 amp solar panels. Each one is rated at 24.4 volts. We have them wired in a series, meaning they're really acting as one panel at 48.4 volts. And the reason we do that, it allows us to have run a smaller wire, which is less expensive and easier to work with, all the way to our shed, where all our equipment is. This here is our disconnect box. It turns off the power from the solar panels to the shed when we need to work on the equipment. Here we are on the roof of the shed. As you can see, we have nine Harbor Freight 14.5 volt, one amp panels. Now we have these wired three in a series. So the voltage goes up to 43.5 volts at one amp. Then we have the three series wired in parallel for a total of 43.5 volts at three amps. And we do that to closely match the panels we have on the other roof. We also have this mini solar panel that runs one light in the back of the shed that lights up the battery bank area at night. This stays DC the whole way. We'll head down now and look in the shed to see where all the wiring comes in from the solar panels. Okay. This here is our switch coming from the solar panels. This switches off the power to the solar panels to all our instrumentation inside. The wire here, this is power AC coming out of the building going to the house so we'll have power in the house. The power from our solar panels comes into this box here. It's a 15 amp DC breaker. What this does is it protects the charge controller if there's too much power coming from the solar panels. This is an MPPT charge controller. What that does is it allows us to have different solar panels, as in our application, charge the batteries at the best rate. As you can see, it's pulling in about 39 volts, 330 watts. Right now it's in the bulk stage of charging, meaning it's trying to put in as much amperage as possible into the battery. From the charge controller, the power goes to the batteries. There's a blue wire here. That's a temperature sensor. The charge controller needs to know what the battery temperature is in order to charge them correctly. Now let's go take a look at the battery bank. This here is our battery bank. We have four 6 volt, 210 amp hour, golf carp type flooded lead acid batteries. They're basically wired, two of them are wired in a series, meaning two 6 volt make a 12 volt at 210 amp hours. Then we have another two wired in a series for the same thing. So the total comes out to be a 12 volt, 410 amp hour battery pack. I'll explain amp hours in a minute. As I said before, I'd explain amp hours. We basically have 420 amp hours, meaning you could run a vacuum cleaner for 42 hours and deplete the battery bank. Now you don't want to deplete it all the way. It's not good for the batteries. So usually you want to go about 50%. So we basically have 210 amp hours, meaning you can run that vacuum cleaner for 21 hours. This here is our inverter. And for anybody who has a boat, they'll know what that is. Basically, it's taking the DC, this is the negative and positive DC, 12 volt coming from the battery. That's why the cables are very thick because the voltage is so low. Higher voltage allowed us to have thinner batteries, but we went with 12 volt. This takes the 12 volt DC and then converts it here. This outcoming wire is AC, just like you have in your house. Up here, you'll have, we have our control panel, which kind of tells us the state of charge of the batteries and how much power is being used on the AC end. From the inverter, it goes into our AC panel, just like you would have in your house. Inside, we have two breakers, a 20 amp GFCI and a 15 amp breaker, which go to various outlets and lights throughout the shed. We added a switch here, which controls lights on the outside of the building, so we could put up Christmas lights or just decorative lights. One of the last things we did was put in this window AC unit. Now, we had to cut a hole in the shed in order to put it in. Then we blocked off the lower vent, since we don't need a lot of cooling down here, and drilled a three inch hole in the top and ran a pipe all the way upstairs to cool up there where it's really needed. So let's go ahead and turn her on and give her a try. Oh yeah, life after all is bearable in the desert. Now some of you may recognize this thing here. George picked this up about 20 years ago at a family reunion. Our uh, cousins had a bar and they let him have this light. And basically, we use it as a night light so we can find our way around here. Now, let's take a walk upstairs and see what's going on up there. 
here we are upstairs. As you can see, we have our TV hooked up. We got some DVDs. Over here, we have a light switch. We got some Christmas lights that we turn on. We just come up here, relax, and watch some TV on solar power. It's a little tight up here, but you can see this is where our AC comes in up here on top, and it really cools the area down. So this is what it's all about, kicking back and watching TV. This gray tube coming from the shed runs our AC and DC line. The AC goes to the house, the DC is coming in from the panels. This piece of cement right here had to be broken out in order for us to get the line to go under it and to the house. And as you can see here, George drew our names into the cement before it dried. This is where our AC power enters the house so we can use solar power inside. We removed one of the panels of the wall because we have to replace the switch here with the switch outlet. But it gives me a chance to show you the AC nerve center of our solar system. We got our new switch combo outlet put in and here's our whole system. Okay, she's all finished. If you hear that fan in the background, that's our charge control. It's a very hot day, so the fan's trying to keep the charge control cool. The good thing is we just finished our air conditioner. We put this board up around it, so it's now complete. This here, this box covers the ductwork going upstairs. So, it's a hot day. Let's go ahead and see how it works. She's all done. Nice cool air. I'll get out of the way. You guys can take a look. After we finished our solar project, we thought the shed needed some landscaping. So we took out a large tree, tore through a bunch of roots, took away a lot of dirt, and put down this grass. And it took a lot of people working a lot of hours to get it done. And when I click my fingers, they're all going to be here except for Daniel who helped take down the tree because he's not here. Now we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Yeah. We're done? That's it.